Welcome back to another special video for the Montreal Bleu Blanc Rouge report card for the third quarter of the season. Don't go nowhere. Welcome back to another special edition of the Hockey Nation Live Show. This is your coach, your coach Frenchie, back in the locker room, Montreal, Canadian. And uh, why are you doing that, coach? But first of all, because this is a quarter number three over done last night with the loss of Montreal versus the Ottawa Senator. So every 14 games, we do a report card and we're going to show to you where the players are compared from uh, the game number 29 to 42 versus the first 28 game of the season. Each player have a, a letters ranking between D to A, and you're going to see who performed better for the last 14 games. If you talk that, we go from the team to the players to the goalies, and of course, we go also judge the 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 ranking about the head coach, Dominique Duchamp now, and of course, the manager, um, Mike Bergevin. So the key behind this power ranking or report card, if I need you, I want you to leave your comments in, uh, below this video. Tell me what you are, agree or disagree, or which player do you believe I should be, I was wrong. And this is all about sharing together and again, this just give you an idea where the player are after 42 game, and we have still one more quarter to go, and we'll be see how Montreal is going to do the next 14 games. So let's start right away with the report card for the Montreal Canadian. Uh, this is the beginning. This is a little bit happening. The first 28 game. Remember, they has right now 13-7-8. The save was fourth in NHL at that moment. The goal score was 93, 3.27 in NHL. Goal again, 77, 2.70, 10 in NHL. The power play was 21.5, 14. The PK, 76.7, 19. And then the shot on the net, it was 33, uh, fourth in NHL. And the shot against them, it was 12 at 29.2. At that 28 games, I give them a B plus. Now they are 19, 14, 9. They, they have 47 points. They drop at 0.560. They are not four in NHL. This is a mistake for me. Uh, the goals for 125, 2.95. They are first time in, in this year. They are below 3.00. They are 16. The goal again, they are 13 in NHL. The power play 21st. 19.1, they drop at 2%. The PK a little bit better, 77.2, 20 seconds. They drop the shoot on the net. They are now 6 at 32.2, and they are 26, and the shoot again at 20 point, at 28 point with. That's not great compared what it was at the first 28, and they got a C. So they drop uh, at C this now. Tyler to fully 28 game at 26.70 go. They have a a plus. The next 14 games, honestly, he played nine games. He has only six points, four goals, two assists, and we give them for this segment a quarter a B plus. Jeff Pitry, the first 28 game, he has 25 points, 11 goals, 14 assists, an excellent A plus. The next 14 game, zero goal, five assists. Only five points. You can see did not perform very well in the last 14 games, and we gave him only a B. Brendan Gallagher, unfortunately, he got hurt during that last three quarter. Uh, the first 28 game, he has 16 points. He has an A with 10 goals, six assists. He played only seven games of the 14 game. He has four goals, three assists for 23 points, seven point differential. We still give him an A. Jonathan Drouin, great performance the first 28 games. He has 19 points. We give him an excellent A minus. Next, what happening to him the next 14 games? Only four points with zero goal, four assists only. 
Unfortunately, we give him to Jonathan Drain for the three quarter at C minus. Josh Anderson, the first 28 game of the season, he played 25 games. He has 16 points with 11 goals at B plus. The next segment, he played 14 games. He has 22 points, so it, he up an increase of six points with four goals, two assists. We give him also a B plus. He's still at the same level. Nick Suzuki, the first 28 game, he has 18 points, five goals, 13 assists with a B. The next 14 game, he played full 42 games so far. He has three goals, six assists, nine points, and 14 games. Now he has 27 points. We give him for this segment also a B. He did not move. Corey Perry, the veteran Corey Perry, he played 21 of the 28 game with 10 points, 5 goals, 5 assists, a B. The next, he played 14 games, full third quarter with 4 goals, 2 assists, uh, plus 6 points. And for him, for Corey Perry, we still give him the same grade at B. Joel Edmondson, the left defenseman, he has 28 game. He has 8 points, 1 goal, 7 assists with a B. He has at that moment plus 28, first in NHL. Now, in this next 14 game, he has only 3 points, 1 goal, 2 assists, and we give him a B minus. We drop him a little bit lower. Shea Weber, the captain, the first 28 game, pay attention to him. 5 goals, 7 assists, 12 points, B minus. The next 14 game, he has zero goal, six assists only in 14 game, and we give him a C minus. Thomas Tata! And 27 of the 20, 28 games, he has 16 points, B minus, five goals, 11 assists. The next 14 game, he has 11 points with five goals, six assists. Pretty good overall for Thomas Tata, one of the most produced the most with a B plus. Just Perry Kokenemi, 15 points, the first 28 game, and four goals, 11 assists, B minus. The next 14 game, he has only one goal, three assists for uh, only four points for Just Perry. And now we give him for this a C. He dropped the one. Alexander Romanov after. 27 game, he had 5.1 goal, 4 assists, C+. Plus. Not bad for the rookie, but unfortunately, the next 14 game, he has 0 point. That's a big difference right there. And now, this moment, we give him, for Alexander Romanov, a C-. minus. Ben Chariot, unfortunately, he did not play a lot of game. He got hurt right away after the, the second quarter. Uh, he had 5 points the first 25 game. And now he played only two games. He has zero points. But unfortunately, because it's his injury, we let him at C, to be honest with you. Did not go, did not move. The next player, Jake Evan, the rookie, Jake Evan center. He had 26 games. He had five points, two goals, three assists. We gave him a C. During the third quarter, he played 10 games. He had only two assists uh, during, the, during those gap of 10 games. And we give him to Jake Evans a C minus. Joel Armia, another one missed a lot of games during the third quarter. And 21 game at the beginning, the first two quarter, he has five goals, five assists with 10 points. We give him a C. He played only six games, only one point uh, for Joel Armia for the third quarter. And we give him a, a C also. Brett Kulak. The first 25 game, he had four assists, four points. We give him a C. During the third quarter, he played 13 games. He had one goal and also two assists for three points and 13 games. For Brett Kolak, we give him also a C. Philip Dano, the first 28 game, he has one goal, 10 assists for 11 points. He played for a C minus. Now, he played 14 more games. He has three goals, seven assists for 10 points. And we give him a ranking of a rate of B. Paul Biron, the first 27 game, he has seven points with two goals, five assists with a C-. minus. The next, during the third quarter, he played full 
14 game, two goals, five assists for seven points also. Um, so he gave a little bit more productivity produce more on that we give him a C. After Ray Lekonen, first 28 game, he played 21 game, he has 4.2 goal, 2 assists, C minus. He played uh, 13, uh, 12 game the next segment and he got 1 goal, 2 assists for 3 point for we give him the same rate, C minus. Eric Stahl, the new player for the Canadian Montreal, he played 8 game, 1 goal only, 0 assists, one point I want to mention to you, he got also minus eight. We give him a D. Carey Price, uh, the first 19 game of the season, he played 9.52, 2.66 with a save percentage 9.07. We give him a C plus. Then he played only five games. He had three win, two loss, almost the same number, 2.67 with 0 0.900. We give him also for this segment. A C plus. Jake Allen, uh, the first half of the season, he played 10 games, 4, 3, and 3. He has 2.28, plus B plus. Then he played more games because Price was hurt. He played 8 games. He got 3, 4, and 1. 2.44, 44, and also 0.915. We gave him a B on that one. Finally, um, Coach G Charm, we gave him for the first uh, a C. Uh, he, he has right now a 953, saying he's a coach behind the bench. So we give him a C for Coach Charm. Mac Bergevin, we give him uh, this segment, third quarter, we give him a B minus. He was a B per that one over there. So uh, that gives you an idea the ranking of the Montreal Canadian. Uh, for the third quarter. We do going to be back at the end of the season to reevaluate their performance, not only the last quarter of the year, but also the full year. We're going to give you more information for each player. So hopefully you enjoyed this um, ranking for the report card from the Hockey Nation Live Show by the coach, Code Frenchy. Listen, we would like to invite you, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also Facebook page under Hockey Nation Live Show. If you go to get all the updates, first for the Montreal Canadiens, second for the team we follow, Detroit, Florida, and also the rest of the team in NHL. And finally, please, comments on those videos. And I want to remind you, we have a daily show, Monday to Friday, 11 o'clock Eastern Time, with my co-host, Michael DeVillano. We do all the live stream from Montreal, Kennedy and one day play. We want to see you over there. And finally, you are a hockey Montreal fans. You are a hockey nation fans. Or you are only a hockey fans. Just want to remind you one more thing we have all in common. We have greatness inside of you. Have an amazing, great day. Bonne journée, mes amis. On se reparle plus tard.